Hi, Chad Stanton here. If you've done any woodworking at all, you know that removing glue squeeze out is an important part of quality control. Because if it's not removed all the way, it can ruin your finish. While thorough sanding before is essential, I like to tackle the problem early on, which is what I'm doing here with my favorite tool for the job, a simple putty knife. I like to remove the glue before it's completely dried for a couple of reasons. One is, it's easy. Semi-dried glue peels off like wax with little effort. Secondly, most of the moisture is gone from the glue. There's little chance of it rubbing into the wood grain, which can happen if you wipe it when it's still wet. Glue rubbed into the grain can be hard to get rid of. It can be hard to see glue that's been rubbed into the grain, especially after sanding, but becomes painfully noticeable after the stain has been applied. It even shows up behind a natural finish. Discovering glue stains at this stage can really spoil your day. I'm often asked, why don't I just wait until the glue is dried all the way before scraping it off? Actually, I have used this method and occasionally still do, but I prefer to avoid it because scraping glue when it's dry requires the use of a paint scraper or a chisel and the scraping action along the grain can tear out the joint. Here's an example of damage that can be hard to remove without planing the whole board thinner. But this never happens if you remove the glue when it's still a little soft. There are a couple of other techniques that I use to simplify glue cleanup. The first one is maybe the most important, and that is go easy on the glue. You want to apply just enough glue to create a little squeeze out. But more than that, you just create a big mess and waste the glue. Another place I like to plan for glue squeeze out is on projects with inside corners, like this jewelry box. I do my sanding before final gluing and assembly. But glue squeeze out on these inside corners during my assembly can undo all my careful sanding. So to protect the sanded surfaces, I make cleanup easier by applying a tape along the joint before assembly. Now the glue squeeze out goes onto the tape. I still wait until the glue is semi-dried before peeling it off with my putty knife. I also use a chisel because it allows me to get into the tight corners. I then remove the tape and set the box aside to let the glue completely dry. Removing glue squeeze out when it's semi-dry requires you to pay attention to the glue as it dries. Not very exciting, but I find the benefits are worth it and I think you will too.